How the heck are y'all doing? We got a special video for you today. The last video from our Isle Royal trip. It was uh, a trip of a lifetime to say the least. Got to go out with some good friends we met on the ferry on the way out to the island. They had a much more uh, much more seaworthy boat than I had. So we were able to go out to uh, some, some waters around the island that I wouldn't have been able to get to in the Bass Tracker. We put the smack down on some Lake Superior Pike, something that's fairly rare to catch. Saw some giants, uh, had a great time doing that. And then later in the evening, went out, did more trolling for lake trout. Absolutely put a beat down on them. We caught uh, more fish in a couple of days than I did on the whole rest of the trip. So I want to say special thank you to my friends Jesse and Jay Woods out of Wisconsin. Great meeting you guys and uh, look forward to fishing with you in the future. But everybody, without a further ado, here is the video. Getting ready to cook another delicious, uh, delicious breakfast here in paradise. The question is, do we go with the chili flavored ramen noodles or the shrimp flavored ramen noodles? These sound questionable, so I'm gonna go with the chilies. And hopefully I'll catch one more fish, at least one more fish to eat. I'd like to catch one more eater fish and then hopefully, I don't know, maybe a couple more coasters. Not very often do I get an opportunity to catch coasters. I'm not sure what you're exactly supposed to do when you're trolling a float plane cuts in front of you. <laughs> That's why I go inside of them. Cool to watch these things take off. Okay, update for you guys. The plan was we got to be on the boat. We got to be in Rock Harbor, which is on the other side of this peninsula, in two days, the morning of two days from now, if that makes any sense. So I'm figuring instead of waiting to the absolute last minute and hoping that the weather's good enough to get around, we troll down here, check it out. It's looking like it's still rather foggy out there, which is not ideally what I'm looking for. It doesn't look too foggy. I'm gonna get up here a little bit further and check if we can scoot around and uh, get into Rock Harbor. Pretty sure we got a fish on the board. Even pressure, clearing line. This one's out there a little further than it. <laughs> Ooh, come on, get in here. Shit, I have a boat. Get off where I need the boat. It is a laker. Got him in the boat! My God, I missed him with the net. <sighs> Knew he was coming off. I wasn't gonna get an adjustment, so I made the decision that I was just gonna pull him up using the net as something to hold onto the lure and more or less boat flip him. That's a beautiful laker. There's a fog starting to get sketchy. Probably just gonna motor on in now we got all the lines in. Whew! Just coming around the American dock. Old, old dock from back in the shipping days out here. Made it through the fog storm and uh, never got lost for a second, so that was good. But, I'm gonna go make some lunch. I got a fish to clean. Maybe we might have that for lunch, hard to say. Might give it to Kim. I told her I'd give her some fish as a present, you know, for uh, putting up with me for this amount of time. We get back up. Get a slip in the marina, maybe put a little gas in the boat, cook lunch, and uh, we got a surprise coming coming to you after this. I'm actually going to use the uh, fish cleaning station <laughs> this time, as opposed to cleaning on the boat. Today's catch. Beautiful acre. This one will probably go to Kim and her house, her housemates for putting up with me. For lack of memory card space, you guys are not going to let to. You're not going to get to see me cut this fish up, but I'm going to be patient. I'm going to get all the meat. Okay, everybody, sitting in the brand new boat. Just kidding. <laughs> met these guys on the ferry on the way over here. Finally met up with them again, and they uh, offered to take me out fishing. 
they've been catching a lot more fish in a lot, a lot cooler places than I've been able to get on account of the fact that, as you guys already know, I got a duck boat out on a pretty scary water. So we're waiting for them to get their uh, snacks and the last of their gear together. We're gonna go out and uh, hopefully catch some fish. Here we go. Well, that's the best way to bleed them out, just drag them around for a while. <laughs> yeah. well, you don't fight much of them, you know? Uh, oh! Nope. No? No, fighting the, fighting the uh, flasher. Uh, I'll let you drive. Here you go. Are you sure? Okay. Yep. yep. Got him. Feels like a Laker. Good eye on that. Oh, let me know he's not a log. <laughs> okay. Yep, yep, yep. This might be a decent one. I can't really tell. I saw him, but. Okay. <laughs> a little more than the old bass tracker. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Good job, man. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But there's a Laker. Trust me, it didn't take me all day to catch that one. <laughs> and you come out with somebody that actually knows what they're doing. Got him? It looks like you got him. A little one? Yeah, he's there. Here, come. There, come he oh. there he is. Here you go. There he's fighting. You're too kind. No worries. So do you want me to bring this one on the side or up the chute? Right right okay. Alright, the side. That's a perfect eater there. <laughs> is it a lake? That's not that's <laughs> not a coaster, laker. is it? Little laker. We're gonna let this one go. Let him go, let him grow. It's not you know it's, it's not worth it out here. You can catch 20 pounders, yeah, you might as well. Survive the sea lamprey too. Oh, that little bugger. <laughs> there he goes. Here you go, Scott. <laughs> okay. I'll trade you. That down there. Go ahead. Yeah, I can tell by the rod flex. Yeah, he's holding down like a log would. He gives you that, you know, that bump that lets you know he's not a log. Oh, there he is. Let me, oh, <laughs> let me know he's there. Yeah, this is a nicer one. This this one will go in the box yep. if we can get him in. Yeah, I, can see him. I don't want him to get under. Right. We got him. Oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> Right out, like the cloud, the cloud of exhaust from the motor made that so much more exhilarating than it should have been. That's closer to the one that I caught the, caught the first day. Back out with my new Wisconsin friends. They took me to Chippewa Harbor. We're coming in now. Probably gonna do a little bit of trolling, but when we get back up here, uh, we're going for a giant pike. Okay, everybody. So we came back into this back little bay and a little bay do some pike fishing. We haven't caught one yet, but we've probably seen at least a dozen that are giant compared to my normal standards of pike that I catch. Hoping that uh, one will bite and hoping that it'll be at least a 40. I, you know, I'm hunting a 40, but I guess I could settle for a 50. <laughs> well, I put on a rip and wrap and I caught a pike on like the second cast. <laughs> <laughs> you hit that thing so hard. Really? It's that rattle, dude. They, 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 it pisses them off. This thing freaking makes so much noise in the water. He's probably what? Maybe high 20s? Maybe 30? Healthy, though. Health thick. Thick pike. There he goes. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> that one might go 30. There, Very there. distinctive in between a, a now, oh, let me get this out. between a weed and a pike on that bait. Yeah. Now you can uh, you can just sit and watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you unlock the secret. What do they want? Something that wobbles like a pike. Well, I'm eating lunch, but I'm not letting Jesse catch up. And it looks like he's hooked into a biggin. He's got a lot left, so keep that net. You bet, out of the water. Looks like a walleye. <laughs> he goes, I know that I know what that thing is. Go the other way. So they're feeding on perch. Back to my fettuccine Alfredo lunch. Night, everybody. We just got done uh, down in Chippewa Harbor out on this boat with some good friends, some new friends, hopefully some lifelong fishing buddies with the cool guys. So now I'm back in my boat cooking me up. Uh, boat lunch. They went up to their cabin to have lunch and we are going back out trolling for lake trouts and salmons. Should be a pretty good day. We got six yesterday. Hopefully we can get uh, at least a couple more. Okay everybody what you guys just sadly missed right there was our last day of fishing out with the woods boys. <coughs> Caught like a dozen lake trout. Some pretty nice ones too and for whatever reason my GoPro every time I hit the record button would only record for like a second and a half. So missed all of the fish catches, but you can go to Instagram, check out the picture. I'm not lying to you guys, we did catch a lot of fish. But everybody, thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. And another moment, we are going to go ahead and thank all of our sponsors that make it possible. At Hunters for Life, it is our mission to make the great outdoors accessible to anyone and everyone, regardless of age, limitation, or disability, one partner at a time. Our great partners include Threads and Ink, Huron Mountain Rod Company, made right here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, Mud Buddy Motors, based out of Utah, our good friend Nick over at Superior Outfitters, also a dealer for Huron Mountain Rods, Brian McCarter with Nemesis Baits, Pike Dreamers, Custom Pike and Muskie Baits, based out of Chicago, shipped worldwide, and last but not least, our good buddy Adam Carpenter, host of the one and only Outdoor Show. All right, everybody, thank you for watching, and as always, happy adventures.